around again talking about the Spud Ink Econo Hammer. It's a mobile training device for practicing your Highland Games light and heavyweight hammer. Um, as you can see, it's made out of nylon strap and has a lot of stitching and a lot of reinforcement. This is like a nylon wear strip, so you don't wear out your nylon strap here with the weights because you take the plate slide it over the handle, pull the strap through to you hear it clank on the weight because that ring there is what holds the weight on and it will hold on by centrifugal force when you actually swing it. See it doesn't fall off and when you throw it, it stays on there because it's all centrifugal force. Um, this is my heavy practice hammer and it's made out of schedule 80 pvc three quarter inch which is what you're going to find on a lot of actual competition hammers and competition hammers start out at like 120 dollars so the spud ink econo hammer is a great practice tool because it's only 39 dollars you can purchase it on spud ink's website Elite FTS website and Rogue Fitness is where this one came from. It's one of Rogue Fitness's three ships for free items. So you buy three of these, you don't pay any shipping. Or you buy two other things that come in that category, no shipping. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that I don't like about it is if you have standard plates with the one inch hole, you can't put them on here. The handle's too thick. So, I DIY'd one. Went to my local hardware store. I bought some like 5 8 nylon rope. I bought a little two and a half inch ring. It's actually full. It has the same size as Spud Ink one. Not as thick. This is a couple bucks. The rope was less than 20 cents a foot. I used a few zip ties. And I can put one inch standard plates on, which is great because. I've got an eight-year-old that likes to do all the same fitness stuff I do. I had to build her a chin-up bar for her birthday. So, obviously I can't load a whole lot of, can't, I can't let her practice with mine because I'd have to unload it and load it, which is not that big a deal, but you know, you don't want to. So, I've got a few little plates. She can only throw like four pounds, so I can put a pound and a quarter, two and a half, load those up and she can throw. Um, the DIY model, it's, it's, it's good enough for her. I've actually thrown it with like 16 pounds on it, held up pretty good. But it's just not the Spud Ink one. Um, even though it's got a square handle as opposed to a round one, it's about the same thickness. So you got that going for you. Um, I like that it's loadable. I can adjust it. This one, 22 pounds. It's always going to be 22 pounds. Same if you buy a competition hammer, it will always be 16 or 22 for men. Uh, I can't remember what the women's ladies hammers are, but they're lighter. But even still, that's what they're always going to be. If you say injure your shoulder or hip or something and you finally get back to practicing, you're not going to want to throw that same weight the whole time. So, so I just want to come back and get into the groove of it. Throw a five, put a five pound plate on, swing it around. Two and a half pound, ten pounds, whatever. Um, that's, that's what I like about this buddy Econo Hammer. And uh, for my final verdict on this thing, go check out my article in garagegymmagazine.com.